in the coming years, we may pay a much bigger price for it if we do not realize this. We are coming to a point where we are destroying the very source of our existence. It is uh, far more dire than people think it is. We are trying to move over three billion people to say one big yes. Well, I think it's a good time to observe ourselves and see uh, as a life, not as a person, that also is important, but as a life, how organized is this life? Because organization is not something that you have to teach to any organism. This is an organism. When you put uh, so many organisms together, then you need some organization. Otherwise, this need not be thought organization, this is super organized and this organization did not happen overnight. This organization happened over a few million or billion years. So, uh, it is a fantastic organization, this organism. I'm called this… I'm calling this organism as an organization because over ninety percent of your body is just of other organisms. Only about ten to eleven percent is the genetic material from your parentage. Over ninety percent is just other org organisms. But there is a cohesion, it is going on, a whole lot of people. If there is no tragic situations, they are uh, managing to live a full life with all this. So the earth itself is a tremendous organism, a living organism, because there is a misunderstanding in the world that an organism means an individual life. A group of organisms means it needs to be something else. Either it's a pack or a pride or a flock, something. No, that's our way of seeing things. That is the way of the human intellect which dissects everything. That is the way of, unfortunately, the modern systems of education which has keyhole vision of everything, sees everything separately. I think uh, we have paid enough price for it. In the coming years, we may pay a much bigger price for it if we do not realize this and correct this perception and correct this narrative in our own minds and in our actions and the way we run the world. That is, we don't understand that the planet, the earth is a living organism by itself. It lives. This silly idea that if you dig here, it is phosphorus, iron, copper, magnesium and uh, nitrogen and whatever. No, it, because it's living, you're living. Now you're right now sitting on the open ground. <laughs> You need to understand and feel this. You cannot really understand because it's too complex, too complex a process. The greatest organization is right there beneath you, where you're sitting, because trillions and trillions of organisms have managed to function cohesively. That is organization. If hundred people come together, they have so many problems. But this is real organization where there is a whole plethora of activity happening. Life is not happening because of a few chemicals put together. If you make a chemical soup, that will not become life. But chemistry is involved. Well, just beneath the soil upon which you're sitting right now is uh, an exchange happening. 
more complex than any stock exchange on the planet, believe me. Mm, trillions and trillions of organisms are gathering various nutrients and minerals and micronutrients and coming in search of roots of plants and grasses and variety of trees and whatever, vegetation. And their trading is happening. They don't simply give away. They ask for carbon sugars as the plant captures the carbon from the uh, atmosphere and converts into sugar and pumps it into the soil. The plant is also negotiating. All these microorganisms are negotiating continuously as to who gets more, who gets what. And this transaction is going on in a super sophisticated way, the way human beings cannot even imagine. So this is an organism of trillions and trillions of organisms as we are. This idea of individualism has brought such havoc to the world, has caused so much pain to human beings. So this is something that human beings have to sell, that is the profound level of organization that life is. It has come to this after millions of years of evolution. If you… you cannot appreciate it because you have not even paid attention to it. Like I've been all over the world in the last two months talking to various leaders and many people, one common question I'm getting again and again is, Sadhguru, where do you get all this knowledge? Did you study environmental science? I said, environment, the word environment is a crime because instead of seeing that you are just one more part of the larger nature, you think you are separate from the environment. This itself is a crime. Once you have such a thought process, once you have such a perception that you are above nature or beyond nature, then naturally what is happening is happening. What you see today in the form of degradation of soils, water sources, everything that matters for life, everything that sustains our life is just a consequence of what's happening in the human mind. We have not understood, we are a consequence of all the other life that's happening here. They are not a consequence of our life, but right now we think that we are the masters of all that because there is we and then there is the environment. There is no environment. There is living nature and it's a fortune that we are also a part of it. It's a great fortune that we are also a part of it and that's all there is. So in trying to fix the world for our comfort, we are coming to a point where we are destroying the very source of our existence. It is uh, far more dire than people think it is right now. The question is not about who caused what, because always moments have been run by creating an enemy. This is what is unique about Isha, that there is no enemy, but we are still busy all the time. Because uh, we know we are responsible for everything that's happening. We may be directly involved, we may not be directly involved, but we are one hundred percent responsible for everything that every human being does in this world and everything that's happening and not happening. Because this is what consciousness means. So next year is dedicated to creating a conscious planet. Uh, the coming year, as you know, we are trying to move over three billion people to say one big yes. I want to hear one big yes, simply. Yes! Yeah. So it doesn't matter what the hell it is, say yes, son. Huh? <laughs> no, 2022 will leave the damn world in a much better place than the way it is right now. Let's make it happen.